Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. So this has been a very challenging trapping season. We had a hard, hard freeze. Uh, everything froze up for me. Uh, so I decided to build some, some mink boxes. So the theory with the mink box is that it gives me a cubby set that I can continually bait. And uh, the trap is up off the snow and ice and protected so it won't freeze. So I spent some time, built some boxes, got all set, and then we had a extreme thaw. It was like 60 degrees the last couple days. So now we got snow coming in again. So who knows what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try these uh, mink boxes out. We'll see how it goes. So these mink boxes are big and bulky, and I don't have a four-wheeler. So I have to carry everything around or use the Jeep or a tractor or something like that. But uh, I built four of them. I checked a couple different designs on the internet. I decided to go with doors on the front. Again, I went with these because I was having freezing problems. And uh, another reason is it said the, the guys with the doors, that uh, seems to deter you know, a lot of the non-targets. So you're not gonna get as many cats and that kind of things in a set like this. Uh, the doors are removable in the front. So I might run two with doors on, two with doors off. We'll see how it goes. But uh, as far as storage goes, I think these are like 16 inches high or something like that. Uh, but they double as storage for your stakes and for traps. So I've got you know everything I need to make a set in each cubby. So I can make a hike out down this uh, tributary, this little feeder ditch, uh, have enough for two sets, uh, hike back, get a second, uh, get two more, and then you know set them and go from there. So you know this is new to me. Uh, it seems like the weather's not cooperating, so I actually don't need them. But I have them, I'm going to try them, and then if the weather takes a turn for the worse, I'm going to be better in the long run. Now you could carry these, you know, one at a time. Uh, it's not that big a deal. This is where a frame pack comes in handy. You know, I can load up everything I need. And again, uh, I could carry this just as a container to hold my stakes and traps. It's got a mesh metal bottom. I'll take it as soon as I untie it. I'll show you a better view of it. But uh, this is something, if I was in an area where I was setting a lot of these mink boxes, I could carry one and just use it as a container to hold the rest of my items. But a, you know, this is a bull pack frame, but an Alice pack frame, you know, any Boy Scout kind of aluminum ladder style frame would work fine. But uh, just basing your trapping system off a frame like this, that gives you that much more versatility. You know, I strap a five gallon bucket to this a lot of times when I'm doing a lot of water sets. Uh, I have not encountered the need for this mink box carrier yet, but you know, a little bit of paracord and your frame pack and you're good to go no matter what trapping system you're using. So here's the uh, through shot of the make box. Uh, I'm going to be setting it with a 155 kind of bear. You want a double spring trap for this. I don't have any 120s, which is a double spring 110. So this is what I based it off of. This is going to be a baited set. I'm going to put a chunk of merganser in the back edge of this and I'm going to be using like a, a mink gland lure on the front lid and I did put a lid on it to keep you know ice and everything else from forming around the, the, the front of it uh, if I get a lot of refusals where I can see in the tracks where animals are coming up to it to investigate but are uh, you know hesitant to go through the hole here I'll just run them with the, the, the face off but since I was making them I just thought I'd make a modular design that I can use a couple different ways. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I got a quarter of a merganser here. I'm gonna bait this all the way in the back of the box. 
you know, this is a covered set, so there's, I don't have to worry about birds of prey or anything else uh, coming down to get this. All right, so I am gonna set this upside down. I'm not running a mink pan or anything right now. That would be where I would bend the triggers horizontally. I'm just not set up for that. This is something I'm trying out. If this works, or if I see refusals, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is take the doors off. Second thing I'm gonna do is go with mink pans. That way, you know, they have a clear shot into the uh, mink box. They're not seeing a trigger system at all. But it's all notched out for the uh, dog. I'm going to set this in here and show you real quick. Alright, so I'm going to bait this with a little bit of uh, Twisted Creek from Molnars. This is leftover from uh, the survival trapping class we had at Camp Craft. They donated uh, some of the lures that we used. So, get a little dab of this. So setting for minks is something that's new for me. Traditionally, uh, I catch mink just accidentally. I catch them in my muskrat sets, and you know maybe one, maybe two a year. Uh, haven't got any this year, but this has been a pretty unusual year. You know everything I've had, if it can freeze, it's frozen. So you know these mink boxes, you know it might be a long-term answer, but I guarantee it's uh, an entertaining way to spend the next month. You know I've got about another month of trapping season yet to go. And, you know, this gets me outdoors every day and, you know, lets me go play in the woods. All right, till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.